Hello, my name is Rita Horner. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager in the Mixed Signal IP Group. And I'm David Rennie, a Senior Analog Design Engineer in the Mixed Signal IP Group. A lot of times, the quality of facilities is judged by the type of receiver architecture that is used. So is CTLE or DFE better solution for a receiver? That's a really interesting question, Rita. There's no fundamentally better equalizer in terms of a CTLE or a DFE, but they each have their particular niche. They're each better in certain things. In order to try and, and visualize this, let's look at two very distinct channels. So here we see in the blue line a very smooth, uh, it's lossy, but it's a very smooth channel response. The red curve, in contrast, is not as lossy, but it is not smooth at all. It's quite bumpy. So in order to try and understand this comparison between a CTLE and a DFE, we're going to look at the bit response uh, before and after an equalizer for each of these channels. So let's start with the smooth curve, this blue curve. So here we see the bit response of just the channel for this blue lossy curve. And what we see is a significant amount of attenuation. We also see energy bleeding into some of the uh, post-cursor UIs. And this is what we expect. So let's take this signal and put it through a CTLE and see what it looks like. So here the black curve shows us the bit response after the CTLE. And as we can see, the equalizer's done a very good job. Uh, it has very effectively equalized this channel. We still have loss, but in terms of the, the equalization, it, it's quite good. So now we're going to look at that red bumpy curve, and we're going to put do a bit response and put it through the CTLE in the same way. So here we see just the bit response through the channel for the bumpy curve, and it's very different from the previous channel, the smooth channel. There's not as much attenuation, but more significantly is this ringing we see uh, in the post-cursor UIs. Now, if we take this uh, and we put it through the CTLE, we get this black bit response here. Now, the significant thing to note is that the CTLE really hasn't done a very good job of equalizing it. There's not really a significant improvement between the bit response before and after the CTLE. OK, well, now we're going to do a similar comparison, but using the DFE as the equalizer. So again, we see the bit response for the smooth channel. And it's the same as it was before. And now we're going to put it through a DFE, in this case, a five-tap DFE. So now we see the bit response here. And as with the CTLE, uh, you know, it's quite well equalized. And especially in those five post-cursor taps, we have basically perfect equalization. But what we can't say is that it's significantly better than the CTLE. The equalization is quite comparable, and, and you could probably even argue that it's not as good because it doesn't go as far out as the CTLE does. But now let's look at the bumpy curve, that red bumpy channel that we had before. We see the bit response through the channel is the same as it was before. And now we're going to put it through a DFE. And now we see that the DFE has eliminated the post-cursor ISI and the five taps of the DFE. And this is something the CTLE wasn't able to do. It wasn't able to get rid of that bumpiness. Now, we still have, uh, you know, beyond the five taps of the DFE, we still have bumpiness that we aren't able to compensate for. But this is significantly better than the CTLE. The advantage of the DFE is that it has the ability to provide an arbitrary response. And that is very advantageous in channels that have a non-smooth response. So based on what you shared with us, it seems as though that the bumpiness of the channel is what really defines which equalization type is better for getting a channel cleaned up. Yeah, it's a good way of, uh, of just sort of as a first pass seeing which is better. I mean, a CTLE gives you a nice smooth response, and a DFE can clean up some of the bumpiness. But in reality, a combination of the CTLE and the DFE gives us the most flexibility in our equalization. Thank you, David. That was great. For more information, please visit synopsis.com PCI Express. Thank you.